Rebecca, yes. you're, you're a real sugar person. Yes, I love real sugar. I know exactly what it is, especially when putting my coffee. So to switch to artificial sweetener, I was definitely craving more sugary snacks and foods during the day, more so than I used to. So when you saw one of these, just take a whiff. Just... Oh my God, it smells really good. Doesn't it? Oh, yes. Really good. <laughs> now, if you were taking artificial sweetener in right. your tea, you would crave more or less of these? Oh, definitely more. One of these? Like, I would eat five of these. Five of these, yeah. all right. <laughs> you don't get any of them. It's gonna help. <laughs> so here's the thing. Ideally, you could actually walk by these and not crave them. And that's the, the situation we're trying to struggle with there. And I don't know if you are able to articulate this, but I actually did the research. I pulled down the nine people that we had to do this experiment with us, right? And you guys are saying your cravings actually went down with regular sugar and went up with the artificial sugar. Yes, yes. Okay, so women on the experiment that did the experiment I found that there were a couple people, two in particular, who didn't have any real differences. They thought it was the same whether they have artificial sweeteners or regular su sugar, which is why you should do this experiment yourself, because we're all a little different. But most of the people, most of the people in the experiment had more sweet cravings with the artificial sweetener, just like our two guests here. That was the norm, which might explain why we're getting this paradox of people using artificial sweeteners and gaining weight, especially if they're trying to lose weight. Let me show you a surprising reason why this happens. This is the idea that we have. So normally, when you eat sugar, your brain knows